Hello YouTube, my name is Latoya and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a Windsor knot. So first I'd like to thank you for coming to my channel. Now this particular tutorial is for guys. Now girls if you want to learn how to tie a knot for your sons, your cousins, whatever have you, that's great. But um, I was doing this because I have a lot of friends and fam that aren't really comfortable at tying their own tie. They don't feel very comfortable with it. So this is for them. So that being said, let me go ahead and get started. This is the Windsor knot. I like to call this the dimple because there's the dimple in here, although you can't see it right now. But Windsor knots are typically wider up top, and it's because of how they are tied. And this is the back of the Windsor knot so that you can see it's wrapped here and here. So that's really what makes it fatter is because it's a little more plump on both sides because I've wrapped it. So I'm going to show you guys how to wrap a Windsor knot. So I am left-handed for all you left-handed guys. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how to tie a Windsor knot. Left-handed. And then um, what I'm going to do is I, I discovered a new angle to do this. So I'm going to do one sitting, then I'm going to do one standing and one leaned in. So you can get a better angle. I think the leaned in is the best angle though. Okay, so this is my right hand and the short one. This is my left hand and the long. Now, keep please keep in mind when doing a Windsor, you're going to want, I almost forgot, there's a seam on every tie. And here it is. It's running this way. That seam, it kind of helps you determine where on your neck you should place it to discover where you want um, a small knot or a big knot. Um, so when doing a Windsor, I like to have it up here. Um, if you want a medium sized knot and just a little lower to about right here, if you want a nice fat chunky knot. Um, and right on the collarbone, if you want that medium sized knot. That's how I've figured out how to work it. But um, So I'm gonna keep it on the collarbone this time. But what you wanna do for a Windsor knot is you wanna cross the big one over the short one. So we cross over and we come directly underneath and pull. And what that does is, is when you pull it, now you want to wrap behind right there. See like that, wrap it behind. And then you want to go over the top and pull your tie. And there's that, that V, there's a wrap. Here's a wrap. Now, put your index finger there and you want to wrap right across your index finger. Right over your index finger. Okay? And instead of coming all the way back out, you want to come about halfway and then tuck underneath your chin, right? And then once you got it tucked underneath your chin, you want to push out your index finger and stuff the tie in. And that's what gives you your knot. And there's the Windsor. And there's your Windsor knot and there's the big dimple. There's a big dimple in that one. But that is the Windsor knot, okay? And like I said, I'm trying to be careful. Um, do not put makeup on my husband's tie. There's the back. One and two. So now I'm going to stand up and I'm going to do it leaning so you can see how that looks. Um, one of the other things before I do it leaning is the length of a tie. A lot of guys ask me where should the length of their tie be. And that's a real easy answer because um, me personally, I am about 5'4", so my belly button is here and my pants are normally here or up here. I don't like my uh, belly button showing. But typically speaking, you would want the tip of your tie to be at the end of your, or at the tip of your button of your pants. Not down here at your hoo-haws, but up here somewhere, wherever your button of your pants is. Now, the standing, 
So you can clearly see, and then I'm going to do the angle. It's got a knot in it. Then I'll do the angle. So when you're standing, again, like I said, you want a pretty good bit of this longer so that you can do all the twisting and whatnot. So here, right here at the collarbone, again, is the short one. So you want to wrap, you want to wrap over. Let me just tilt this up. You want to wrap over and, I mean, excuse me, under and pull. So you get your knot, that first one wrapped. You want to wrap all the way under and then go down to wrap the second one, okay? Then put your finger, index finger, in and wrap over your index finger, come all the way under till you get to the center and pull up through. Then push your index finger forward using your pinky and your index finger, pull through. There's your tie, gentlemen. And this again is the Windsor knot. And then you simply turn on the back and tuck your tie in like that. That's how that works. Now, I'm going to give you the angle look that I happen to discover So, in doing this today. So, again, here is my seam. There's my collarbone. And we're going to lean in. So, this is the short. This is the long. We're going to lean in. This is the long. We're going to go over and through just like that okay and we're gonna go underneath like that see like that and then we're gonna tuck it in we're gonna tuck it in like that okay so now it's tucked and you now have both covered here's one covered here's the other one covered you're gonna put your index finger in the center and you're gonna cross over over your index finger, like so. You're going to bring it all the way around until you get to the center, and you're going to push up so it's straight up. Then you're going to use your thumb and your index finger to grab the tip of the tie and pull straight through. Okay? And then you want to pull it to what is comfortable for you. Now, Different strokes for different folks, gentlemen. But I seem to discover that the best way to line it up so the knot is right is your nose, your nose, your chin, your tie. Just like that. Okay? So that's the Windsor knot. Um, if you have any questions, comments, you can put that below. And I'll be happy to um, either redo the other ones if you like that closer angle um, or if this helps, let me know if there's any other guy grooming stuff. If I can help out, if I know how to do it, I'll be happy to do it. Otherwise, this was how to do a Windsor knot. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And thank you to all our military people out there serving our country. Like, thank you for that. And have a great and wonderful day. Oh, and go President Obama. The inauguration is Monday. Uh, love you, Sarah and Jazzy. Bye-bye.